guys. Christine Steins here. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'm just going to jump right into the topic. Have you ever struggled with sugar cravings? Have you ever felt like maybe you're having too much sugar and wondering how that might be impacting your body? If that's you, stick around because that is what I'm going to talk about tonight. And then I'm also going to be giving you an opportunity to access my 10 steps to kick sugar cravings after this. So chances are you already know you need to reduce sugar and too much sugar is not great for us. But you might or you might still be or, um bleh, you might still be overdoing it. Most Americans average 17 teaspoons a day of sugar and the recommendation is 12 or less. So sugary drinks, candy, baked goods, sweet and dairy, those are the main sources of sugar. But even savory foods like breads, tomato sauce, protein bars, those things can have sugar in them too, making it really easy to end up with too much sugar each day. And then to make it even more complicated for you, sugars can be hard to spot on nutrition labels because they're listed under all different names like corn syrup, agave nectar, palm sugar, cane juice, sucrose, there's a bunch of them. Um, but no matter what it's called, sugar sugar. And in excess, it can really negatively impact your body um, in a lot of ways. So. I'm gonna go through some different ways that it can impact your body from head to toe. Some things you may not even be aware of, but I do wanna preface it by saying, you know, you're not expected to never have sugar, right? And you're not gonna never gonna have it. You're not gonna never have a cookie again or have cakes again or something like that. I just share this information so maybe it'll motivate you just to maybe be a little bit more aware and maybe choose sugar a little less frequently. Or maybe you are able to spot some sugar that is in your food that you weren't aware of previously and you can make some adjustments. So starting from the top, your brain. Eating sugar gives your brain a big surge of feel good chemical called dopamine. And that explains why we're likely to crave a candy bar at 3 p.m. over like carrots because whole foods like vegetables and fruit they don't cause the brain to release as much dopamine as sugar and our brain starts to need more and more sugar to get that same rush that same feeling of pleasure so this that's what causes that like gotta have it craving um, maybe like especially after dinner for ice cream or something that can be hard to tame <laughs> next our moods you know, occasionally candy or cookie can give us a quick burst of energy or we call it like a sugar high by raising our blood sugar levels. And then when our levels drop back down because our cells absorb the sugar, that's when we feel like kind of jittery and anxious and we get that sugar crash. But if you're reaching into the candy jar often, then sugar can start to have effect on your mood beyond that kind of high and crash. Studies show that high sugar intake can lead to a, a greater risk of depression in adults. Next are teeth. So the bacteria that cause cavities love to eat sugar that's lingering in your mouth after you eat something sweet. So all the time our moms were telling us sugar would rot our, te rot our teeth. She was right. <laughs> uh, next up are joints. If you have joint pain, there's even more reason to lay off candy because sweets have been shown to worsen joint pain because of the inflammation they cause in the body. Um, studies show that sugar um, consumption increases your risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis as well. Another side effect of inflammation, it can make your skin age faster. So sugar attaches to proteins in our bloodstream and it creates um, harmful molecules called it stands, it's ages, I forget what it stands for, advanced glucose something or other. Um, anyways, these molecules, but they age your skin. They do exactly what they're called. Um, they damage collagen and the elastin in our skin, and that's the protein fibers that keep our skin firm and youthful. So the result of damaging them is more wrinkles and kind of saggy skin. Um, and then our liver. Um, the sugar can impact, so most sugar contains fructose um, and that is processed in the liver. And in large amounts, it can damage your liver. So fructose is broken down into liver and changed into fat, and that can cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Um, it can also cause non-alcoholic inflammation and scarring of the liver. And scarring can eventually, if there's enough of it, cut off blood supply to the liver. And that uh, is when you develop cirrhosis and you can, you know, eventually need like a liver transplant. 
our heart next up. So when we eat a lot of sugar, the extra insulin in our bloodstream can affect our arteries. And this causes the walls of our arteries to get inflamed, which makes them grow thicker than normal and be more stiff. And this can really stress our heart and that damages it over time, all that stress. And that leads to things like heart disease and heart failure, um, strokes, heart attacks. You know, research also suggests that eating less sugar can help lower blood pressure, which is a risk of heart disease. Studies also show people that eat a lot of sugars where at least 25% of their calories come from sugar a day are twice as likely to die of heart disease than those whose diets have less than 10% of their total calories coming from sugar. Next up, our pancreas. So when you eat, our pancreas pumps out insulin. But if you're eating excess sugar, then your body will start stop responding to that insulin properly. And your pancreas will pump out more insulin um, even when it's not needed. And that eventually will overwork your pancreas and it'll break down and your blood sugar levels will rise, setting you up for type 2 diabetes. Speaking of diabetes, if you have it, too much sugar can lead to kidney damage. So the kidneys filter our blood or play a role in it. And once blood sugar levels reach a certain amount, the kidneys start to release excess sugar through our urine. Um, but if left uncontrolled, diabetes can damage the kidneys um, and then that impacts the kidney's job of filtering out waste and can lead to kidney failure. And then our body weight, this probably isn't news to you, the more sugar you eat is related to higher weight. Um, people show that, or research shows that people that consume more sugar tend to weigh more and have higher risk of type two diabetes than those that don't. Um, oh, last but not least, our sexual health. <laughs> Ladies, you may want to tell your partner that they might, may want to skip the dessert on date night because sugar can actually impact the chain of events um, leading for that to happen. That's all I'm going to say about that one. So anyways, hopefully you learned a few things here. Those are all the ways that sugar can impact your body. There's a lot of them. Um, if you feel like you suffer from sugar cravings or you are just ingesting too much of it, I created a 10-step plan to help you kick cravings to the curb. You know, drop, if you drop a comment below and let me know that you would like it, I will send that over to you. I'm also thinking about running a sugar detox group as well. So if you're interested in that, be sure you comment below as well. Like I said, I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you learned something um, and I hope you have a great rest of the evening. Take care.